to Gavin. Lee. Gavin. Oh, good ball. Hector. One nothing. David Hector punishing poor Gary Pierce and the Wolves defence for a bad error. Archie Gavel slipping and still not hustled as he stood to retrieve the situation. Wolves retreat, he sticks a perfect ball through for Hector. One nothing. Carr. But Nab is deep over to the left, but it doesn't matter. Lee now attacking three on two. Hector. Lee. Oh yes! He didn't mean it, but it worked for him. Blow, Franny Lee. 12 minutes, 2 nothing. Oh, I think even Franny Lee would agree that he had just a fraction of luck then. Monroe and McCall absolutely caught as Franny Lee attacks them through the middle of the park. The ball bobbled from one foot to the other. Once he'd seen the gap, he was in. And nothing was going to stop him scoring then. by Archie Gamble. First foul called against Wolves in the game. So it Wolves' favour in the game. Archie Gamble. Lee. Gamble wins it back so easily. Hector is on. Hector is in, and Hector has scored, 3 nothing. And the same knockout drops that put Wolves on the rack in 10 minutes, knocks in the third one at 27 minutes. Wolves caught in trouble, attacked by Archie Gavel, who delayed his pass until the exact moment, delivered it into the path of Hector, and Hector really doesn't miss those. Richards could be in here now. Oh, it's Kinden. That's Kinden's first goal of the season. Unselfishly given to him by John Roberts and uh, John Richards. So it's 3-1 now. The second minute of the second half. The unfortunate Roy McFarlane slipping as that ball comes through the middle. John Richards going on looking as though he's on for a goal himself. And utterly unselfishly. Knocks it sideways for Steve Kinden to score his first goal of the season. The first one by a Wolves side here since 1972. And Palmer drives forward for Wolves. It's good ball. Mike Bailey. Kinden. Bailey and he's chased by Rioch. Well, the free kick is given. Against Rioch. assume that uh, with 15 minutes to go of this game we can assume that had uh, Mike Bailey been able to take perhaps just one and a half strides more Wolves might have had a penalty oh he wouldn't have needed even a stride and a half he'd need about six inches see that that ball is almost on the 18 yards line it's Willie Carr he's over the ball but behind him is Palmer Hector Gemmell Lee in the wall George and Ish ready to charge at it. Going far post, and that is a goal from John Richards. Beautifully done. And Derby absolutely caught flat. 